I am Mike Stanton here with Todd Thomas from BAM's West Coast Public Finance Group. This is a BAM Credit Insights video about an upcoming sale of approximately $418 million of special tax revenue bonds by the Irvine Facilities Financing Authority, which will finance the latest stage of one of the largest public investment programs in Southern California, the redevelopment of the former El Toro Marine Corps Air Station in Orange County. Todd, thanks for being here today for talking about this transaction. There are a few moving parts about, uh, that we're going to get to in a minute about the structure, but before we do that, can you tell us where the revenues to repay the bonds are coming from and how they're generated. Okay, thanks, Mike. Uh, ultimately, these bonds are repaid from special taxes that are lev levied on individual parcels uh, within these communities. The special taxes are independent of uh, assessed valuation, and they are levied on a per parcel basis. So ultimately, we're looking through to individual parcels uh, in this community in Irvine. So now let's go ahead and talk about that structure a little bit more uh, in detail. The Irvine Facilities Financing Authority is the issuer of the bonds. What happens? Where does the money go and, and how is the legal structure set up? So the authority will uh, use proceeds from the offering to acquire three local obligations. The local obligations are uh, established uh, and ultimately repaid from um, unique improvement areas, three unique improvement areas within the city of Irvine. The uh, uh, improvement areas uh, each have unique uh, characteristics in terms of the number of uh, parcels, um, the, uh, the size of the special tax generated uh, from those parcels, uh, and also a debt service associated uh, with those parcels. Ultimately, uh, each of the improvement area uh, local obligations uh, is structured such that special taxes generated within each improvement area generate about uh, 1.2 times debt service coverage. Um, so ultimately, um, there is some uh, excess coverage down at the local obligation level um, that we're looking to. And that's important because if if uh, there's a situation emerges where one of those improvement areas falls short, uh, there's no obligation on the others to make up the deficiency, right? That's right. There's no cross collateralization amongst the lo local obligations. There is a, a debt service reserve requirement at the authority level, uh, which provides some protection for bondholders um, and uh, could uh, absorb uh, unanticipated delinquencies to the extent there are any. So when you went sat down to do the credit analysis here, you looked through to the local improvement areas. What were the kind of uh, factors and, and data that you were looking at? Ultimately, we're looking at these on an individual basis. Uh, we found that the development status uh, 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 was uh, strong here, and these are essentially 100% developed uh, improvement areas. Uh, we're also looking at the types of land use within the improvement areas. In this case, we're looking at... Uh, uh, multifamily, um, detached and uh, attached uh, single family housing. Um, we're also looking at a value to liens um, uh, to ensure that there's a sufficient value uh, to offset the uh, projected debt load. Um, and then, you know, things like uh, taxpayer diversity um, are, um, are crucial. Uh, and here there is uh, um, predominantly uh, individuals owning the parcels, uh, which speaks to the strength of the credit. Uh, and then lastly, um, uh, each improvement area is governed uh, by a, uh, a certain uh, development and uh, uh, rate and method of apportionment, which governs the, the levy of the special tax, but also the amount of bonds that uh, may be issued. And um, there is a limited amount of additional debt um, that can be issued with respect to each of the improvement districts. Uh, in other words, um, the, the cash flows that we're seeing from the special tax now are what we would expect going forward. And the underlying economy in the region uh, is strong, and, and this is an attractive place to live also. Uh, that's right. Irvine is a wonderful community with great schools, and uh, it's located in the, uh, the center of Orange County, uh, which gives us a lot of comfort. Great. Well, thanks for your time today, Todd, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Michael.